You can now play Android games in the cloud. Welcome to Bluestacks X. Just real quick, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on Bluestack X. As you can see here, it states it's a one-click gaming for your browser. Unleash the power of mobile cloud gaming. Features over 200 plus free cloud games, all yours. Cloud gaming on any device or any OS, meaning you can play on your Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Linux, Chrome OS, Android, and Raspberry Pi which is pretty incredible. Play without waiting, never wait again to play your favorite Android games with Bluestack X. Trust platform play, meaning that you can play in a PC, laptop, tablet, or TV. You can use the web app or download on a PC. So again, a lot of places where you can play this at. So I don't think this is a fair comparison, but let's just take a look at it. So they're comparing this to PC gaming. Talks about it takes 20 to 30 minutes to get in the game. Here, it's only one click instant play. Download file size, two to three gigs for most games. You don't have to download. Storage space is three to four gigs here. You don't have to worry about that. Up to 60 FPS with this, you get 60 FPS. So that is Bluestack X. So let's take a look at this and see how this actually performs. So again, they have a web browser client. So we're just gonna click this and this should be able to get us right into this. All you have to do is just click on your login and enter your credentials and you're good to go. So as you can see here, I'm gonna sign in with Google. And just like that, I'm able to log in. All right, so this is the overview. Let's take a look at it. So you have your home, you have your cloud games, you have your Android games, and you have my games. So we'll take a look at each. So if you go to cloud games, these are the selection of games that you can actually play in the cloud. So as you can see, decent amount of selection. So something to notice here, since this has over 200 plus games, I feel like that is a fib. It does have over 200 plus games, but it's not all cloud related. For the rest of the cloud gaming, you actually have to download it. So they have options to download the play in cloud. So I feel like that is false advertising. So if you come here, you see her over 200 free cloud games, all yours. Games like Call of Duty, games like uh, PUBG. But if you come here and you try to search for Call of Duty, all right, and you open it up, Look what's doing is telling you that you have to download it. So again, I feel like that is false advertising. Let's try PUBG. And again, for PUBG, you have to download this as well. So again, some false advertising here, but we're going to look at my games as you can see nothing here really. But yeah, let's take a look at a cloud game at least and see how this performs. So we'll open something like Raid. Shadow Legends, this seems to be a really popular game. You can play in the cloud. So let's check this out, test this out and see how this works. So again, using the browser client here. And we're gonna tap. All right, so there we have it. Don't know too much about this game, uh, but as you can see here, you can use the mouse and keyboard, which I think is quite interesting. So we're going to go to the campaign. Behold, Castle, seat of King Tabor. Cool, this, cool. I fear that the king you All right, we're going to go right into this again, new to this. So you can use touch or you can use the control. Now shattered by once had the, on the e All right, we're going to skip all of this, go to battle this again, just you select your team and magic you have Skip all of this. Going to start. So we're choosing our team here. So let's well just done. pick some people. Gonna hit start. Again, just want to showcase the this. Check out performance. Show how your champion's affinity All right. Okay, here we go. All right, sweet deal. Again, running pretty smooth. This is all cloud based. Nothing local here. All right, here we go. There we go. Moving on up. Nice. Okay. Keep going. Again, it's pretty cool that we're able to do this. 
with a mouse and keyboard. Nice. My guy's a beast, bro. Alright, let's keep going. Wow. Oh, he hits hard, though. Let's have her kill. There we go. Alright. Wow, that guy's pretty strong. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Alright, we are victories. So again, you guys saw Raid Shadow Legends running there. So you can see the performance was pretty smooth. So some of you guys might ask, why in the world would I want to do this? And realistically speaking, there's a huge mobile audience out there who play on multiple devices or would like to play multiple devices. So this is Android focused, but if this is a game on Android that you cannot get on iOS, that's a good option right with this it becomes a possibility to play any android game that's on the service on ios think pc like i'm doing here as well think chromebooks as well so in a way this kind of opens uh possibilities which is pretty pretty cool my thing is it needs more games like they were showcasing 200 games. They did say that they have a native desktop app that you can download. And through that, you can download those games. But to me, I don't feel like that's cloud. But for the cloud games, which you guys are seeing here, they do have selections. They say every week they're going to bring one game to this platform. So we should see more games coming here. So again, imagine this having something like Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG. Genshin Impact, you know, there's, there's hope here. And I would say the biggest thing I want to see for this is like uh, resolution upscale. Imagine if this can hit like 1080p, right? Bring these games to 1080. I think this is an advantage that this can have as well. But it's a great start. Just want to showcase this off. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, fellas. Peace out.